What's up guys, and welcome back to Fit and Tech. I'm Carlos. Today, we're gonna go over V-mount batteries, specifically this one, but we're gonna go into detail about what this is, what you can use it for, what it comes with, and uh, what it powers. So, let's get into it. Okay, first off, we're gonna start with the ports on this thing. Uh, it's got one, two, three, four, five ports. So let's talk about them. So this port right here on the bottom, that's going to clip into a recessed type port right here, which is the BP port. Anyway, this, as you can see, when we press down, reveals pins right there, and those pins are going to clip right into there. So I'll give you a demonstration right here, clips onto the V-mount clips right in there just like that. And that is not coming loose. The V-mount is quite popular and uh, for good reason, it is a sturdy mount. Now, some people might disagree with this. Maybe the gold mount is a little bit better. The gold mount is different. It's a different locking mechanism. And I think this one is pretty decent for the money. So basically this is the male part of the clip, right? That trapezoidal shape. And then we have the female part, which is right here. And it comes with a lock. So basically that is going to clip right in. As I showed you earlier, it's gonna click into place. And there you go. And you can use this button right here to unlatch it. And there you go. So that port is gonna be the main port where it gets power. That will power the plate, the back plate. Uh, and then you can use the back plate if it has ports for other accessories. So this next one is the power in, and it is a USB type C. It is right next to the power button. This one allows power to be input into the battery so you can charge it. That is That port does not really have outgoing power. It's really just for collecting the juice from your outlet. Okay, the next one we have is gonna be the USB type C power out that port is going to power your camera or uh, a phone or other devices. And then the next one we have right next to it is going to be a USB type A port. That one is gonna be used to power something like a monitor. So you can see down here, there is the port right there and that is a five volt in port for this Andy Cine 4K monitor. And this monitor um, can be powered via that. If you put it into the USB Type C, it won't work that. It won't work at all. Uh, I think there's too much power going from that USB Type C to the Andy Cine 4K monitor. Now over here, you can see with this monitor, this is the Atomos Ninja 5, and this one does not have any power in via USB C. Uh, it has remote port, mic, uh, HDMI in and out but it does not have a USB type C um, power in port. So instead with that type of item, we are going to use something like a DTAP and um, elimination battery. It's a battery eliminator is what it's called. And you can plug this into the DTAP, which is this port right here. But this battery will allow you of course to use a DTAP and this will plug into the back of this monitor right here. And also if I wanted to, I can plug it into the back of this monitor and power it the same way. I also got these cords and these cords are USB type A to USB type C. You can see that there. And then this is USB C to USB C. Um, so that comes with the kit that I bought, which is the version one of ZG scene. And yeah, Another thing about this V-mount, which is pretty cool, is that it is a 99 watt hour battery, so it's quite hefty. It can run my camera pretty much all day, which is awesome. And I can also take this on flights if I'm traveling. Now I can also take the 50 watt hour battery on flights as well. The max is 100, so I can't, actually the 99 I think was made because you can't do 100 watts. If it's 100 watts, you can't take it on the plane. If it's less than 100 watts, then you can take it on the plane. So that is good to know. And that is actually also why I bought this one to start because I figured I'd be traveling with it from time to time and I didn't want to run into that problem. So still giving me plenty of juice, but the ability to travel with it. Now, what can this device power? So 
This device can power a number of things. Like I said, it can power my monitors. It can power my phone if I need it to. It can power, it can charge my mouse if I want it to. It can charge other chargers. It can also charge my watch. I have a connector for my watch if I wanted to charge that on the go as long as I bring my connector. Uh, it, that would go into the USB type A because that's what my connector takes and it would charge that, which is great. You know, you, you always want to charge your watch, make sure that's working properly. Now, one of the reasons why I got this, I thought eventually I would be rigging my camera out. So I did want to get the V-mount to power all my items, but also I purchased this before I even bought my camera because I needed something with a bit of juice. Something to charge my phone at night if I if the power was out or if I ever needed like a backup battery for some reason, I wanted to be able to charge that. So I I bought it so that I could have that with the eventual with the idea of eventually rigging it out for the camera I was going to purchase, which happens to be the FX3. Um, it's worked great. There are tons of other ones out there. There's newer, there's small rig, there's FX Lion. Yeah, of course, there's ZG Scene. There's a bunch of other types out there and they're all great. Most of them are 50 to 99 and 150 and so on and so forth. They are great and I recommend you get one even if you don't have a camera right away. I plan on getting some more V-mount batteries in the future so I can swap them out in case I need to. Well, that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this information insightful and useful. And if you did, please drop a like Comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next video.